Hello again, continuing the activity list for the construction schedule. This one will be the last lecture finishing the construction schedule. What's only remaining as you scroll down and see, it's adding the overall testing and commissioning, pre-testing and pre-commissioning, and in adding with the structural, the final finishes or FF and E. In our case, which is the counters, whatever we have here, things what uh, no things is considered as a final fix table whatsoever the final finishing and equipment if there's any so no, now let's go back to B. so we will add we can add an activity here we will name it the pre-commissioning the pre-commissioning mainly we are doing it for testing of water and a lot of stuff so this one should be before adding any final finishing and equipment this one most probably touch a room it would take almost 10 days it would take only 10 days as you're going to see this one not 10 days and you have new activity here this will be testing and commissioning for the other systems inside the room we will assume like it's a typical floor because the room hasn't much of systems but we'll assume like it's a different and a full floor and we'll give this one again we'll make this 12 and 12 days so for the first it's first the pre-commissioning then the testing and commissioning link activities and we need only the finish to start so we'll keep the same so what's the relation with our friends here with our activities here so we are going to add a new activity in the arc. This activity, it works uh, even for final finishing, which is vinyl, but we are going to name it final furnishing and equipment. But it also works for the rest. This won't take much for the vinyl, for carpet, whatsoever. Anything that you don't want to be damaged by using the testing of or pre-commissioning of water and the rest of stuff. So the pre-commissioning in such cases will be after the installation of MAB final fix as you remember you choose this one first and this one and it will link run to see better and here we go the sequence that we want if F, F and E would be after the fire commissioning and where I can link the F, F and E up to the testing and commissioning and congratulations we have a construction schedule which is ready finally finally we have a construction schedule that's ready by the way you always can make this in another wbs whatever or even a sub wbs from here you're going to make a categorization whatever you're uh, and whatever you want to see and even the bigger the project you, it needs to be more and more organized but for now, it's only few activities, so it works fine for you if you keep it like this. So now, now it's ready. You have, you have seen the schedule. Everything is ready for the construction. Congrats. Always remember, you only suggest, but this one should be approved, revised with the construction team, construction manager with each and every discipline, structural, architecture, mechanical, electrical, bombing, low current, whatsoever. You should always make sure that they agree on the sequence and you should explain the sequence because they cannot treat it the same as you because you're the one, the planner and the scheduler and you're the one that made it. So you're the one that knows it exactly. So you should explain each and every detail, the sequence and even the durations and make sure that this is achievable for them and get their buy-in and they approve it even before submitting it for the external for the client or the consultant or whatsoever always make sure about this step because a lot of planners forget this and here congrats now you have full construction schedule for a small room which gives you an idea for how the rest works and while doing our schedule we made sure that we are going, we are using much tabs and much, much, let's say orders from here as much as possible to make sure that you are getting 
much of the primavera from our course we are using the tabs we are using adjective t copy and paste what to use what to not use and again while we are doing the engineering which will be in the next lecture you will see that copying wbs what how, how we are going to use it it's actually building a full schedule there's a lot of tabs and a lot of orders that you are not using it this much while doing the program it's useful for sure but you are not using this much we are going to build the full schedule without even going through a lot of tabs of or, or orders and this will give you more confidence that you can build a schedule now and you can even explore it by your own base or try something which is quite easy but we are going to give you how to build the schedule from scratch and you will have the confidence that you can build schedule as you are seeing i actually do recommend that repeating each and every activity you are doing in this course by yourself when you have the p6 because doing so will make you actually always remember it because you have practiced it and whenever you are doing it in the real life or in your project you will do it right without even re revisiting the course or revising the course it will stick in your mind always make sure that you get the most out of this course by even practicing it